Alright, today I'm going back to a game that's more of a cult favorite, and that's NHL Hits 2003. In the late 90s, long before sports adaptations became an exclusive battle between 2K Sports and EA Games, the sports genre was pretty much open for any developer to develop on. Midway decided to take a very unique take on sports video games and made an exaggerated and more mature sporting game setup. This all kicked off with NFL Blitz, and the next sport to be adapted to that style of gameplay was hockey with the NHL Hits series. NHL Hits began with NHL Hits 2002, which was definitely a unique take on the game. It wasn't perfect by any means, but it sold well enough to warrant a follow-up, and that would be NHL Hits 2003. Midway subsidiary developer Black Box would take the development role and what they made is probably the most entertaining hockey game that I've ever played. Like its predecessor, the gameplay on the ice consisted of 3 on 3 hockey, which was one of the originalities that this franchise came up with. It also wasn't your typical hockey. This hockey was much more violent and more brutal than any other hockey game that was released at that point in time. And the only other two main franchises out at the time was NHL 2K and EA's NHL franchise. This is pretty much no rules hockey and you do have the option to play without rules, but even if you do, the rules still are very lax. There's no interference calls, there's no offsides, and you can hit any opponent that moves, including the goaltender. The game also has power-ups, which is definitely a unique feature for a hockey game. In each game, there's an energy meter on top of the screen for each team, and each body check adds to the meter. When it's half full, you can power up one player. When it's all full, you power up each player. With each power-up, the players will be struck by lightning and set on fire, which gives the players the ability to skate faster and to check harder. There are three regular modes in the game, and it's a typical mode setup. You have Exhibition, which is just choose two teams that you want to play. Then there's Franchise, which is actually a feature that I'm surprised EA hasn't borrowed yet, especially since they own Black Box now. With this feature, you play a custom-made team that starts off as sort of a minor league club, and you complete goals throughout each game, and that helps build your team up and unlock various perks throughout the game. It's a really cool mode that I'm surprised no other sports franchise has tried yet. The season mode is typical, but with this one you can lower the amount of games per season, which at the time was really unique, but isn't quite as unique now. Another mode that isn't a part of the regular modes is the mini games, which is awesome. You can play games like Tic-Tac-Toe and King of the Ice, which is just 4-on-4 four -four body checking, where the player with the most body checks wins. One of the things that I haven't mentioned yet about the hockey games themselves is the ability to select the arena. Your first choices are the typical arena choices, but when you go down the list, you select places like the Wild West or Shark Tank. All of these environments are really cool. Graphically, this is easily one of the best looking sports games to come out for the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube generation. The character models are very realistic, and this is one of very few sports games at the time that had fully animated crowds. The game has reflections on the ice, and the lighting animations like the camera flashes when the players come out are really amazing. What's even more amazing is the frame rate. Usually games that went into this much detail at the time suffered from frame rate drop, particularly the PS2 and the GameCube, but that didn't happen, and that really says something about the game. So overall, this is one of the most underrated and unrecognized sports games out there, and it's a game that really deserves a much bigger fan base than what it has right now. Well, everyone, that's it for now. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next time.